السلام علیکم آئی عمر فاروق اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ان دا ڈپارٹمنٹ آف میتھمیٹکس آف جی ایم او مین ویمنس کالج ویلکم یو ٹو دا فرسٹ لیکچر آف تھرڈ ایئر بی ایس سی میتھمیٹکس پیپر تھری دا فرسٹ چیپٹر آف دس پیپر از میٹرک اسپیسز سو لیٹ ایس سی واٹ از میٹرک اسپیس before seeing the metric space let us see what is the definition of metric metric means distance in geometry so far in school levels or in uh, junior college we have seen what is the distance between any two point in x y coordinate system and the distance formula so if we have a uh, x y plane and uh, any two points p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 then uh, we know the distance formula uh, dpq is equal to a square root of x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square we have different properties of this distance first thing being distance this is non negative it can never be negative because it is distance so we can say that dpq is greater than or equal to 0 secondly dpq is equal to dqp distance from p to q is actually same as distance from q to p this is the second property that we can observe easily and one thing is that uh, dpq will be equal to 0 if p is the same point q means p and q when they coincide then the distances will be zero and one more important property is that distance between pq is definitely less than or may be equal to distance between uh, p and r plus distance between r and q if r is any point other than p and q so this is the triangular inequality over here d p q is less than or equal to d p r plus d r q so if there is a function d which is satisfying these properties then what uh, this is called as here we will uh, name that as metric okay so we have the formal definition of metric like let x be a non empty set and d from x cross x to r be any function define like uh, it is having some properties four properties first one is non negativity that d x y is greater than or equal to 0 for every point x and y in x Uh, as we we have seen over here dpq is greater than equal to 0 then d x y is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to y if the point x is equal to y then the distance coins, uh, distance becomes zero third property is d x y is equal to d y x which is symmetry and fourth property is d x y is less than equal to d x z plus d z y that we have seen from this figure also and uh, from this illustration so if d is a function from x to x to r it is a real valued function satisfying these three properties it is known as a metric defined on the set x and the order pair x d the set x with this metric is known as a metric space this is the formal definition of metric space let us see different examples of metric spaces first example if we consider d from r cross r to r defined as dxy is equal to mod of x minus y this mod means absolute function then this satisfies all the all four properties of metric and it, it becomes uh, 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 it becomes a metric space this r becomes a metric space with this distance uh, you see this is a real line r and if i have a point x and y on the real line then x minus y its absolute value is actually the distance between the point x and y this is what is the uh, um, function d defined over here so the first property being absolute value function it is it cannot be negative that is why i have mod of x minus y is greater than equal to 0 for all x x y belonging to r so the our d x y is greater than or equal to 0 secondly If I take dx y is equal to zero, uh, by definition I have if and only if mod of x minus y is equal to zero, but this is an absolute value function, okay? Uh, 
an absolute value. If I have, you see, dxy is equal to zero if and only if mod of x minus y is zero. This is absolute value. So if this is if and only if x minus y is zero, and this if and only if x is equal to y, this is the second property of a uh, metric. Okay, third property, which is uh, known as a metric. dxy by definition, this is mod of x minus y. If I take minus sign out over here, it will be mod of minus of y minus x. But absolute value of a negative number is same as absolute value of the function uh, of the number. Then it will become what mod of y minus x. This is equal to mod of y minus x. So this is equal to by our definition dx. If, if dx y is mod of x minus y, then mod of y minus x must be d of y x. So dxy is equal to dyx. These are the three properties of uh, whether uh, checking whether the given function is a metric space or not. Now come to the fourth property. Dxy is starting with dxy is equal to mod of x minus y. If we adjust here minus z and plus z, we will have mod of x minus z plus mod of z minus y. But there is a triangular inequality of real numbers that mod of a plus b is always less than equal to mod of a plus mod of b. So using this, it will become this will become less than equal to mod of x minus z plus mod of z minus y. And uh, this will be d x z by definition, and this will be d z y by our definition of function given in the question. So this will become d x y less than equal to d x z plus d z y. So we got dxy less than equal to dxz plus dzy for all x, y, z belonging to R. So the given function satisfies this given function satisfies dxy uh, is equal to mod of x minus y, which is defined over here. It satisfies all four conditions. So it is a metric, and R with this metric is known as a metric space. So here R D is a metric space. This distance d x y is equal to mod of x minus y is also known as usual metric on R. This was the first and easiest example. Let us come to the second example of a metric. Consider d from R n cross R n to R defined as d x y is equal to summation of mod of x i minus y i, and this summation varies uh, takes values of i from one to n. So you see that here I have written x, but here I have xi. Here it is written y. It is written here yi, because x and y they are in R n, they are in nth dimension. So x and y are vectors. They are known as n tuples. So x is equal to x one, x two, x three up to x n, and y is equal to y one, y two, y three up to y n. These are two n tuples where x one, x two, x three, x n are components of x. Y1, Y2, Y3, Y n are components of Y, and each component of X and Y uh, is a real number. We have to show that uh, R n with this metric is a metric space. This is the question. Let us check the condition. See the first condition. Mod of X being absolute value, X i minus Y i, its absolute value is always non-negative. It is always greater than or equal to zero. Uh, whatever may be the value of x i y i, but it should be real number. So if each value is greater than or equal to zero, if uh, we are summing up these, taking summation of such values, um, then the summation uh, taken over n number such numbers i from one to n, it it, it means what? It means uh, mod of x one minus y one plus mod of x two minus y two plus mod of x three minus y three, and uh, up to plus uh, dot dot plus Mod of x n minus y n. This is what is the meaning of summation. So summation of all these numbers will be greater than or equal to zero. But this summation is here taken as d x y. So this d x y, this distance is greater than or equal to zero for all x y belonging to R n. Coming to the second condition, d x y is equal to zero if and only if this term is equal to zero. But this is summation of n terms. And each term in this summation is non-negative; it cannot be negative. Therefore, we can write this if and only if each term is equal to zero. So I have 
mod of xi minus yi is zero for all xi y i belonging to r r for all i from one to n. Uh, but absolute value is zero if and only if x i is equal to y i. This term will be zero if and only if x x i is equal to y i. It means x one is equal to y one, x two is equal to y two like this. So I have x one is equal to y one, x two is equal to y two. Uh, so corresponding components are equal. All the components are equal. X n is equal to y n. Therefore, x is equal to y. So I have x i is equal to y i if and only if x is equal to y. So the second condition is also satisfied. The second condition was d x y is equal to zero if and only if x is equal to y. Come to the third condition. d x y is equal to by definition this summation. But in the summation we have this modulus sign which is absolute value and absolute value in absolute value this uh, will be same irrespective whether I am taking x i minus y i or y i minus x i. So this summation is equal to this summation. But when I come to this summation, uh, then summation of uh, mod of y i minus x i i from one to n by our definition will become d y x distance from y to x. So d x y is equal to d y x. This third condition, which is symmetry, is also satisfied. And uh, coming to the fourth uh, triangular inequality, d x y is equal to by definition this. Again, we will add this minus z i plus z i in between, so that we will have here, we will have here in the summation, we can have this modulus as less than equal to mod of this term plus mod of this term. By triangular inequality of absolute value, as we have seen uh, before, so we have this, and when we separate summation, we will have summation of x i minus z i plus summation of mod of z i minus y i. But this is distance between x and z, and this is distance between z and y. So we got d x y less than equal to d x z plus d z y for all. Vectors x, y, z belonging to R n. So the fourth condition is also satisfied. Hence, this uh, R n with this metric uh, d x y is equal to this is a metric, and uh, R n with this metric is a metric space. Thank you.